I'm Sarah Anderson, and I work with a team of people here at IPS to transform our economy. We want to shift away from one that is dominated by the narrow interests of the ultra-rich and Wall Street uh, towards one that is equitable and sustainable. And we're finding ourselves in kind of a surreal moment here after the election because all the polls show that the majority of Americans are with us on these goals. And yet we're looking at a Republican-controlled Congress and White House that wants to turn back even the modest uh, reforms that we've won since the 2008 uh, financial crisis. And so we're committed to uh, keeping up the fight here in Washington, but we're also really excited about working more with groups at the state and local levels where they're having some real wins. If you look at the ballot initiatives on election day, many passed that will do a lot to reduce inequality. Uh, for example, in California and Maine, they passed initiatives to raise taxes on the wealthy. And minimum wage won everywhere it was on the ballot, including two places that will now be phasing out the sub-minimum wage for tipped workers. And so uh, we're excited about uh, this work uh, and hope it will bubble up here to the national level. Um, as for myself personally and how I'm responding to the election, well one thing that my extended family does is we pool our donations uh, before the holidays and then one person gets to decide where the money will go. Uh, I happen to be that person this year and so one thing I'm looking into is finding groups that are doing good work to protect and support the Somali community in Minnesota where I'm from and my extended family uh, is living. Uh, Donald Trump gave a speech in Minnesota two days before the election, a very hateful speech attacking the Somalis there, many of whom work in the poultry processing plants in the rural areas which is where I'm from. So we're looking to find ways to show uh, this community that we have their back.